Namaste everyone. My name is Sushmita and I'm your Juru Yogi. In today's class, I will be taking you through a sequence for burnout which will help you really release some of that pent up energy through long holds as well as side twists and then we'll do some power posing to really feel that energy and remain empowered within our own bodies. So if you guys are as excited as I am, I invite you just to bring your fingertips onto your knees, maybe even give your shoulder blades a big squeeze and release. One more time, let's do that. Bring the shoulder blades up towards the ears, give it a nice big squeeze. And then on the exhale, maybe you irrigate the body with some sound, let go. <sighs> Drop the shoulders down one last time, lift the shoulder blades up towards the ears, give it a nice big squeeze and exhale release it completely let's do a few neck rotations just to get in and feel this presence step into the present moment letting go of any worries of the past or anxieties of the future just slowly feeling each of the movements in the neck making small slow rotations and as you drop your chin towards your chest Let's try and go the other way. So getting the left side, getting the left back, taking the head all the way to the back and the right side. And then as you drop your chin towards your chest, let's just stay here for a moment. Honor ourselves for showing up to the mat today. Bring the hands in Namaste. And offering a gesture of gratitude just to yourself. Take a big breath in and setting any intention perhaps it's a word perhaps it's a phrase to really address the sensations in your body and this feeling of being burnt out of being exhausted and to make this strong determination to find the enthusiasm to show up to the mat with this beginner's mind with this sense of play without wanting to get the pose right but rather to feel in the body a change taking big breath in and a long breath outside out let it go beautiful we're just going to release the hands and make an S grip so by an S grip, what I mean is you're just going to try and clasp the fingers together, roll out the shoulder blades, release and look back. Now I don't want you guys to really extend and hurt your back, but it's just a relaxed sense of opening up the shoulder blades and breathing deep into the belly here. Perhaps you've been working on a project for a really long time and you're hitting a wall. And so holding yourself wherever you are today. Soften the belly and soften the forehead. And really just slow down the breath and feel each part of the breath. Watch the inhale. Watch the exhale. You can slowly take your ear to one shoulder, so maybe either right ear to the right shoulder. As you create this opposite action with the left shoulder pulling back and down. And then slowly and gently coming back to the center. Observe the gripping. Are you gripping more than necessary? Are you holding on more than necessary? Then take your left ear towards your left shoulder and release the grip as much as you can while still keeping contact. Still drawing the ribs in and still breathing into the side of the neck. As you comb the muscles of the neck with the breath. Take a big breath in and as you exhale slowly bringing the head back to the neutral position release the hands out in front of you stretch the arms out 
really just drop your chin towards your chest for a second give your body a nice wiggle and exhale release the hands back which is going to come on to all fours guys so when we make our way on to all fours i want you guys to just have your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips so you can keep the tops of your feet down and we're just going to take a few easy cat cows to begin the class so push through the uh, palms and just curl and round the chest inhale pushing through using the chest breathing in exhale draw the navel to the spine and find some space in the mind find that yoga that union one more time guys and you don't have to follow this rhythm you can find a sense of play perhaps that's turning to one side and turning to the other side there's really no right or wrong there's just present and not present so whenever you feel yourself mentally leaving the mat detaching from the act in front of you just come back to the practice and try and give it some more enthusiasm use your whole body to express whatever you're trying to express moving from one side to the other side and then slowly coming back to neutral we're going to try and shift the left hand a little bit into the center not all the way to the center but reach the right arm up look past the thumb and on the exhale you're going to thread it through so i'm going to get my right hand underneath and send my shoulder blade down to the mat and rest my head down on the mat you can cross your feet behind you and even take the option of extending that left arm out in front but the key here is again the breath your anchor your best friend so take a big breath into the belly and feel the raw belly expand As you do this see if you can just release your forehead release any expression on the face release the tongue from the roof of the mouth and try and send all the thoughts all that's weighing you down into the mat give it to gaia give it to mother earth one more big breath in and maybe you want to make a sound maybe you want to make a sigh just let it go whatever your emotion you're feeling <sighs> slowly walk your left palm back and use yourself to push yourself up coming back onto all fours just reorienting maybe you take another cat cow before you start on the other side give your body a nice wiggle and then lift that left hand up reach up look past the thumbs and then on the exhale we're going to thread it straight through getting the cheek onto the floor and maybe you extend the hand in front making your fingertips and crossing the legs in the back sending the hips towards the back and releasing here deep breath into the belly long breath into the belly one more time guys deep breath here And as you exhale observe where the breath goes observe where the mind goes Can you soften just around that place where you're holding some tension Perhaps it's in your hips Perhaps it's in your shoulder blades this unwillingness this resistance One more time guys coming in with a beginner's mind like this is the first breath you're taking take a big breath in and a long breath out ha <sighs> sigh it out let it go slowly walking the right palm back and once again using yourself to lift yourself because that's all you have coming back onto all fours and then what we're going to do is we're just going to send the hands out a little bit in front and we're going to send the hips back into your child's pose now i'm giving you two variations with the child's pose you can either keep the hands in front or you can come down and make a little ball send your hands back into balasana 
and allow your forehead just to release and relax onto the mat. If your forehead is not touching the mat, that's completely fine too. But if you can touch your forehead to the mat, let's try and move the forehead up and down, forward and backward, just to find one spot on the forehead to release all that tension into. Breathing into that spot. Creating space in the mind as you massage the forehead forward and backward. Maybe you go circles, but focusing all your energy, all your breath on that one spot on the forehead. And really visualize all this tension, all this stress just dissolving, melting. And you can even tell yourself, I am relaxed. I am calm. I am in control. I am relaxed. I am calm. And I am in control. One last time, whisper it into the cavity of your skull and believe it. As you slowly rise up, one vertebrae at a time, release the shoulder blades, roll out the shoulder blades, give your body a nice big stretch, take the arms by the sides of the body and as you exhale, send the hands forward. We're going to come into our first downward dog of the day. So you can perhaps just send your hips up and keep your knees extremely bent, as bent as you like to. And I challenge you to just do a bad downward dog. Allow yourself to do the first draft badly. Allow yourself to be imperfect. A sense of burnout, a sense of loss of enthusiasm comes from wanting things to be perfect. Slowly get the right heel down and get the left heel down. So I want you guys to do this for yourself. Do it badly, do it imperfectly. But stay and see it through to its completion. You can edit the first draft. You can make changes to the first time you do your downward dog as you slowly lower both the heels down. And stay, find a moment of stillness. Find a moment of arriving in the state of the asana. And just breathe. Quieten the mind and listen. Is there a message? And then making small baby steps to the front of the mat. You can push through the palms. And then slowly rock both your hands. You're just going to take your hands and go behind. Clasp them behind your head. You can heel toe your feet so they're about hip width apart. And we're just going to release and extend. So I'm not trying to exert or overextend. All I'm trying to do is make small bobs. And what you guys can do is get your hands as you interlock your fingers. Get it right below your skull. As if you are catching your own skull. And as you fold forward, what I want you to do is be easy and loose with the movements. As you exhale, trying to go lower. And then push your body weight into your toes and do the same. Dynamic movement, active breath. Let go of anything you're holding on. And then slowly bend the knees. Lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Visualize that thing, that emotion, whatever is troubling you right now in front of you, give it a color. Observe it as a situation. And then as you exhale, 
drop it down send your head hand back and your head low one more time lifting up lower the knees engage the thighs lift it up acknowledge it see it and then let it go one more time we're going to make it slightly more challenging come on to your toes lift your heels up and try and sink low with this Let's watch it again exhale chest to the knees exhale release and then slowly coming up when you lift up this time stack lifting up with the palms rooting down through the feet and feel that energy from the tips of the fingers down to your toes and stay here we're just going to bring the right hand onto the right leg and give the body a nice side stretch reaching over with the left arm stay here and breathe draw the lower ribs in try and squeeze the glute and lift up even more as if you're being squeezed by two glass panes reach up maybe even look underneath the palm and then slowly coming back through the center i want you guys just to switch sides so we're going to take the left arm down this time and reach over with the right arm breathe into this feel this sense of flexibility this adaptability to any situation that comes up for you without losing a sense of enthusiasm without losing this sense of connection with your core so really draw your core in reach with the arm and relax with the body as you slowly inhale both the arms up come up parvatasana reach up with the arms allow them to really leave your ears away from your shoulder blades and exhale bring your hands towards your chest down your third eye down your throat into your heart space in namaste a come in here lift the arms up reach back look up do a exhale fold it forward inhale up exhale step the right foot back look up tuck the toe we're going to step the left foot back this time into plank position knees chest chin ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujangasana cobra exhale back into downward facing dog breathing here for 3 2 1 and 1 right foot steps left knee comes down inhale look up left foot steps fold forward exhale let it go inhale all the way up and samasthiti he regulate the breath regulate the mind left side a come in here lift the arms the way exhale folding all the way forward three and a half we lift and then we're just going to step that left foot back this time look up don't collapse right foot step strong through your plank knees chest chin eight points of contact on the mat chin comes last slide it through push through the palms exhale strong downward dog breathing arrive stop stay broaden across the chest breathe into the upper back and draw the navel in left leg steps right knee comes down look up one more time right leg steps fold it forward let go inhale up all the way exhale samasthiti he a come in he lift the arms up we're going to take a small variation this time do a exhale fold it forward inhale up to a half way lift exhale try and step both the feet back into your plank position knees chest chin ashtanga namaskar inhale bhujangasana exhale back into your downward facing and breathe here and stay beautiful we're just going to step the right leg in front this time bringing the left knee down coming into your anjaneyasana you can push the lower hips in front send the chest up open up the chest and breathe for 
keep sending your elbows back keep pushing your hips forward two and one frame that front foot we're just going to flex that front foot by sending it a little bit forward you can move your toes one way and the other way and then observe how you feel here you can walk your hands a little bit back you can lift up be proud through the chest of all that you've done really just working the legs opening up the hamstrings and with the next exhale walk the hands back push the body weight forward and we're going to lift that back leg up and we're going to efficiently step without losing energy back into our plank so take the right foot meet the left foot knees chest chin ashtanga namaskar remain with the mind just with the body urdhva mukha adho mukha breathing same thing on the other side we're going to breathe and stop and observe the mind is there a sense of rushedness to go into the left side or can you stay without anticipation can you wait without waiting and without effort with grace step that left foot forward this time getting the right knee down same thing on the other side bring the hands up and you can bring them just at your lower back supporting your lower back and then squeeze both the thighs together as you send your hips up and send your chest up i'm sorry send your hips forward breathe and release elbows coming back opening up the chest for three last two keep staying and one good job guys bring your hands down let's just open up that front foot coming into your hanuman asana maybe you move a little bit forward with the heel maybe you can go all the way but for today let's try and back off from the edge of our comfort zone just a little bit and stay in bed so moving your foot from one side to the other side crow through the chest open up the shoulder blades and breathe here five i know it's uncomfortable four stay three last two and one good fight guys coming bringing your left foot back frame that front foot and we're going to step the right foot to meet the front foot efficiently step so lift that right knee off the mat look ahead of you shift your body weight forward and backward getting ready getting super springy don't anticipate and just lightly ever so lightly step and forward for legs here very good inhale up all the way and exhale back samasthiti nice you can drop the hands down and we're just going to step the right foot back coming in to your wide leg stance so with your wide leg stance what we're going to do is first really just send the hips back and send the chest through as you fold forward but in your mind space i want you to think of having this sense of humility of not knowing everything of not knowing all of the factors and bowing down using your own weight to lift yourself strong through the base but then like a leaf just bowing down releasing the spine releasing the head and drawing the navel a little bit in you can maybe even bend the knees and then send the hips up to the sky even more push through the four corners of the feet send the top of your head down nice let's try that one more time till we can really arrive so bend the knees generously and then send the hip points up towards the ceiling drop the head low and look down look at your nose and push through the four corners of the feet and draw the navel in a little bit more if you guys are tipping backwards i want you just to tip a little bit forward while still not curving the shoulders so open up the shoulders proud through the chest just stay and feel the silence for a second
inhaling slowly coming up stand tall and i want you guys just to feel this sensation your hands on your hips sink low and proud through your chest now in research it shows that this is actually called a power pose but in yoga what we're doing is we're embodying certain qualities certain qualities of being courageous being proud but at the same time having this humility to learn and know that we don't know everything so if we can embody this sense of pride being broad across the collarbones and firm through the hands and just stand here for a few seconds we can begin to see the intentions the seeds that we're planting really really see the see the effects in our own body so stay stay here and take a deep breath in and a long breath out feel this pose one more time big breath in proud through the chest long breath out you are inherently worthy regardless of what you do who you are or what title you may hold let's just get the right foot now and we're going to track the right knee in the direction of the right foot coming into your warrior 2 so having this sense of the warrior this fierceness extend the arms out of your socket sink a little bit lower so as you see i have to move a little bit more so then i can sink as much as i can go without compromising this knee because that's why we get all these injuries i want you guys to lift through the knee push through the outer edge of the left foot and then reach the arms out and sink a little bit lower let's see if we can without moving this pelvis back tuck the pelvis down and sink low reach with the arms breathe you can take a variation and smile and stay for 3 hold for 2 and 1 i want you guys just to bring that right hand and make a fist we're going to take a side angle stretch reach the left arm up and over and keep breathing keep extending that arm that upper arm look past and underneath your hand and stay engage 5 4 3 that's two and one lift up coming back into your warrior two don't straighten that front leg we're going to go straight into the reverse warrior i know it's a little bit hard and challenging but we have to fight through the challenge lift the right hand reverse that warrior extend to take a variation you can get your left arm and bring it on to your right thigh to give yourself a deeper side twist stretch breathe and release 3 2 and 1 coming up beautiful guys straighten that front leg and we're just going to switch sides so the right foot turns towards me now and the left foot turns towards the other side so extending broad across the collarbone same thing on the other side but the warrior too has to have this intention right like a real warrior like you're standing and you're taking a stance breathe and release feel that position of power extend through the fingertips and look past the middle finger sink a little bit lower engage with the problem breathe often times action is the antidote to anxiety so when we engage when we don't leave the battle when we fight and we stay we find strength through that challenge so let's sink a little bit more engage even more guys feel that meditate on the muscle inside your inner thigh just stay 4 5 last 4 and 3 2 and one let's just take it over reverse that warrior take that le- left hand up you can cross over with your right hand on your left thigh and reach and bring 4 5 4 3 two easy does it breath and one coming up extend that front leg And now what we're going to do is just going to frame that front foot. So I'm going to try and windmill my arms down to the mat. Take that left foot, step it back efficiently, and then straight through either Ashtanga Namaskar or your Chaturanga. Yogi's choice. Inhale up, squeeze the glutes, lift up, open up the collarbones. Exhale, child's pose. Release the top of the head, relax the body. 
and breathe. Perhaps you walk your hands over to the right side, releasing the side body that we just stretched. And then coming back through the center, over to the left side, release and give the side body a nice stretch this time. As you come up, we're just going to come through and we're going to do the same thing. So lift up. And now, as you go into your knees, chest, chin, I want you to slow down the movement, bring your chest through and the tops of your feet down. We're going to make a pillow with the arms and just relax here for a second. Makarasana. So breathing deep into the belly. I want you guys to sort of inflate the belly and allow the belly to feel the flow. Breathing deep. If the Makarasana arms don't feel good, you can cactus your arms by bringing them into 90 degree angles just by the sides of the body, just like here. And then slowly bend the right knee and try and get the right knee towards the right elbow. So as I do this, I'm going to flex my foot and breathe. Keep breathing, keep staying. Bring your head over to any side that feels good. Half frog pose. Listen to your breath. Slow down the breath. slowly releasing that right leg back. We're going to take the left knee towards the left elbow coming into half frog on the other side. Turning the head over to the opposite side. And take a few moments to arrive. Keep flexing that foot. Keep observing the mind. chin down and release that left leg back down and what we're going to do now is we're going to flip over like a pancake or a dosa so I want you guys just to flip over onto your backs coming down onto your backs extend both the legs out in front of you relax the belly bring one hand onto the belly the other hand onto the chest and watch the rise and fall of the breath Anytime we feel burnt out, it's usually because we don't have a high enough ideal. We lose the enthusiasm because we're working for ourselves. But if we can make the space in our bodies to really think and create the space in our minds to conceive of a higher ideal, perhaps it's to work for the community, for the country, 
just look at ways to make it a little bit less self-centered, a little less self-serving. And think of an action step. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give your body a nice big hug. You can just bring your fingertips onto your knees. And we're going to extend the knees out. And then slowly bring it back in. We're going to marry this movement with the breath. So I want you guys just to find your own rhythm. Exhale. Inhale, allow the belly to inflate. Take the legs away. Exhale, draw the navel into the spine. One more time, creating space. Allow the lower belly to inflate. Exhale, draw the knees in towards the chest and see if you can make this more effortless. More smooth, more easy. Slow down the movement. See if you can start the breath first before the movement. And observe your lower back here as it makes contact with the mat. And notice how that affects the rest of your back. Your middle back and your upper back. One more time guys. With this new sense of curiosity. Without gripping with the hands. Let's try and draw the knees in towards the chest. Using the breath. And send the knees away. Using the breath. Slowly drop both the feet down, release and now give yourself a little shake, maybe it's a little wiggle and release all the way down. We're going to do a few bridges here, so just bring your hands down by the sides of the mat, lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes and lift up. If this feels too easy for you, you can walk in your left leg and lift up your right leg. But if this doesn't feel like it's good for you today, you can try and grab the ankles and just try and open up the chest. Squeeze the glutes and lift up. Three, two, and one. Slowly lower down. We're going to repeat this on the other side or one more time. So take a big breath in and a long breath out just to reset. And lift. On the exhale, maybe scooching that right foot in a little bit more before you extend and lift, keeping that sense of balance. Five, four, three, lift up higher, two, and one, release it down. Hug the knees in once again to the chest. And we're going to rock up and roll down. Finding the sense of play, the sense of childlike curiosity to the movement just a couple of more times and then slowly coming up we're going to extend just the left leg out in front keeping the right knee in and I'm going to try and lift up with the spine so as I lift up with the spine draw the knee in towards the chest bring the right hand behind you can either hug the left knee in or you can go all the way into your full Vakrasana which is bringing your left hand over your right knee and really like using that left hand as a lever to push up and look over your right shoulder. So try and shift and edge your body weight away from that back hand because once you start to collapse, you lose the integrity of the structure of the pose. So really let's look past our shoulders and breathe. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly release. We're going to repeat this on the other side. So really guys, lift up, stretch up. Maybe you're just hugging the knee in today. Flex that front foot. And then bring the hand over. And then cross. Maybe you look behind it. And stay here and breathe. I want you guys to look over and keep, once again, keep edging the body weight forward. 
stay here and breathe. I want you to breathe into your lower part, your middle back and your upper back. One more time, breathe into your lower back, your middle back and your upper back. Slowly coming up, back to the center, release that leg, release both the hands down just for a second, coming into an easy Paschimottanasana, like a sense of surrender, opening up the palms and you don't have to go all the way today. Just slowing down the breath once again. And whenever you feel ready, you can slowly lift up, stretch the legs out. And we're going to go into our final relaxation or Shavasana. So you can stretch the arms out, stretch the feet out, open up the palms. Allow yourself to listen to the sounds around you, acknowledge the sounds. And acknowledge your own voice, your own sense of inner listening. Stay here and breathe. Watch the belly rise and fall. Watch the chest rise and fall. Allow the rib cage to swell. Allow the shoulder blades to rise. And on the exhale, watch how the shoulder blades just melt and give their burden to the mat. Observe how the chest just collapses and how the belly can catch the breath. Remain curious one more time. Watch the belly rise. Watch the chest rise. Watch the rib cage swell from the sides and then the shoulder blades come up to your ears. And ride the breath all the way as it leaves the body, goes into the lower belly. Mentally repeat and auto suggest to yourself as I call out the different body parts, relaxing them. My face is relaxed. My eyes are relaxed. My cheeks are relaxed. My nose is relaxed. My jaw is relaxed. My tongue is relaxed. My throat is relaxed. My shoulder blades are relaxed. My arms are relaxed. My forearms are relaxed. My wrists are relaxed. My fingertips are relaxed. My chest is completely, totally, entirely relaxed. My tummy is relaxed. My lower back is relaxed. My hips are relaxed. My thighs are relaxed. My knees are relaxed. My shins are relaxed. And my feet and my toes are relaxed. Stay here for a moment. And really soften into the mat. Just allow yourself to stay here for as long as you feel like. Allowing yourself to remain in the state of the asana, shavasana. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.